What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at all the non-exotics coming to Destiny 2 as well as what I believe is a new leaked exotic which well details are scarce on. But before we go any further guys, I have managed to get my hands on a absolute ton load of Rockstar can codes uh, to give away. These give you um, exclusive in-game gear of some sort when the game drops. To be in with a chance of winning one of these codes, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. Winners will be picked and contacted via direct message on YouTube. Okay, so on to the good stuff, exotics. A crucial part of the game we play, the pinnacle achievement loot-wise, the reason so many grind, the ultimate in-game gear, well, they should be. So what weapons can we confirm are exotic and we know are exotic at the moment? Well, we have the three we used within the beta. Uh, they are the Risk Runner, this is an SMG. We have the Sunshot, this is a hand cannon. And then we have the Sweet Business, which is an auto rifle. Now during the beta these exotics were limited to a specific class, only titans could use the sweet business auto rifle, only hunters could use the hand cannon the sunshot, only warlocks could use the SMG the risk runner. This led many people to believe that these were exclusive to said classes. This is actually not the case and I can confirm this. On screen now we are seeing a titan with both the sunshot and risk runner in his inventory. So that is the end of that. Okay, so those are the exotics we got to use. What else do we know of? Well, there is the Borealis. This is an exclusive exotic sniper rifle to PlayStation users. This sniper can change its elemental burn at any given time, giving the user a great advantage when playing PvE. Then we have the Coldheart exotic trace rifle. Trace rifle being a new type of weapon to the Destiny universe. We first saw this at the Big Show panel at E3, but was later confirmed to be a pre-order exclusive. Which guys, there is a little bit of um, confusion on. If you've already pre-ordered digitally on your console, you will get this 100%. I went and checked my local game store where I pre-ordered the collector's edition and they said it will be given out as a code with all their pre-orders and I'm guessing this will be the same for any disc copy you've brought or pre-ordered from the shop. So it's a pre-order exclusive exotic but will become available through gameplay from December the 5th, 2017 which is more or less exactly three months later. So those are the confirmed exotics for the game. Now we have seen many other weapons people including myself do think are exotic. So the first weapon on the list of exotic not exotics is the Dubious Volley. This weapon was originally supposed to come with the Taken King DLC for Destiny 1 before it was cut from the game confirmed by Luke Smith. Now we know for sure it's making its debut within Destiny 2 as we've seen gameplay of the thing in action. Although I would say 99% of the community would think this is an exotic, it hasn't been confirmed yet. Next up we have this awesome looking, well to actually say exactly what this kind of weapon is for sure would be misinformation at the moment. All I know is it looks amazing and it does remind me of that portal gun, that also famous portal gun. Now when we see this thing fire in slow motion, it seems to shoot a kind of energy burst and to be honest the way it reloads and the kind of cartridge it slots in, I don't think it's a grenade launcher which is what I guessed it would be when I first glanced at it. Now we know there are new types of weapons within the game, we've had the linear fusion, we've had the trace rifle, we've had SMGs, so adding a new weapon type won't be that surprising. The thing just looks absolutely incredible and I can't wait to learn more about it. Next up we have this weapon I actually made a video on and that's this sword. Extremely unique in design. That paired with a gyroscope at the bottom of the blade leads me to believe this is an exotic weapon and in the video I made about it I'll link it with the speaker. That video will be found within the video description if you do want to check it out. Very interesting, it's all speculation but it is interesting. Next up we have a few weapons I'd call exotics just because of the amazing designs of the weapons. Now we know most exotics within Destiny are unique in design. Even when the weapons themselves ain't that great they always seem to stand out just in their design departments. These weapons are those very kind of weapons. Weapons picked and noticed because of how unique they look. First up we have this grenade launcher. Very, very text mechanic-ish in design. Looking absolutely incredible. A question I have is though, besides its design, what could indeed be exotic about grenade launchers? You shoot, they explode and done? This is something I can't wait to learn more on. 
Again, we have another serious unique looking grenade launcher, this being a void weapon, reminiscent in the design to the Galahorn hosting what seems to be a wolf or a cat at the front of the barrel. It looks absolutely great. At first when I saw this I thought it was a shotgun but then we saw it in action and it's definitely a grenade launcher of some sort. Next up we have what looks to be a sidearm but indeed could be a hand cannon. Now I first saw this weapon at the Destiny 2 reveal event in LA. It was showcased behind a glass cabinet with many other weapons which have been confirmed now as exotics, one of them being the Cold Heart. The design on this thing is absolutely great, the rats or mice along the top are awesome and I cannot wait to get my grasps on it within the full game. Okay, so to end the video, we have this image right here. Now, this was tweeted at me about a week ago by somebody who claimed to have data mined it. When I asked for more info on it, I never got a reply. Last night, I got another tweet from this person about this weapon, and I'm still waiting for a reply of where it originates from. Now, whatever this is, the image does look legit. I mean, it ain't hard to Photoshop an image like this, but it does kind of look legit, it really does. It looks like a sniper of some kind. Whether this is a new unconfirmed weapon from Destiny 2, we don't know. Looks interesting though, and if we come across any more information on it, I will be sure to have you guys covered. Destiny 2 is a little over a month away, and when it drops guys, I will have you guys covered and all the guides you're gonna need to know. So if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never wanna miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to join the notification squad. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. If I've missed any other exotic weapon, let me know down below in that comment section. But thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Thank <laughs> you.